by the way one of the greatest one one of the biggest revelations that happened in the last few days was like crazy crazy regarding uh russia and ukrainian war was that when at the beginning stages of this conflict that started on february 24th that russia went in in february 24th 2022 which really started mainly started with the 2014 coup that occurred in ukraine one thing that russia revealed putin revealed recently in the last few days was when the russian troops were outside the door of kiev right after invasion few few days few weeks after invasion they got to the doorsteps of kiev right and russia and ukraine had a meeting in turkey and they signed a peace deal right saying like there was huge compromise like it was it was done the war was fucking done right just imagine in the last year and a bit over 200,000 ukrainians have died a few hundred thousand have been injured tens of thousands of russians have died tens of thousands of russians have been injured right trillions of dollars fucking blown up depleted uranium sent from the uk to ukraine oh. fucking making the land in ukraine wherever it's being used toxic just imagine when Russia was on the doorsteps of Kiev, they met with Ukraine in Turkey and signed a peace deal saying that Ukraine would be neutral. It wouldn't join NATO. It wouldn't seek nuclear weapons. It would have enough soldiers to defend itself and Russia would pull back and it would give it would abide by Minsk, Minsk 1 and 2. And then Boris Johnson flew to Ukraine and said, fuck no, Ukraine, you do not sign this. Gave billions of dollars, hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukrainian oligarchs and they continued the war. They reneged on the peace deal they signed with fucking Russia. Unfucking believable. Unfucking believable. Right? Un like fucking un fucking believable how many uk prime ministers right have been responsible for millions of deaths over the last 20 plus years start with tony blair with going to iraq war one or iraq war two right who's a fucking clown cameron that spearheaded the annihilation of libya right was it cameron i can't remember right then you got boris johnson that prevented the peace deal from going through in Ukraine. <sighs> when the f fucking devil comes calling, man, he's going to rip these people the fucking apart as he should.